Hey, what's up guys? It's Will from TechBee TV bringing to you a case review for the iPhone 4 and this is the newly released Reptile from SwitchEasy. I got the uh, black version for the iPhone 4. They are using this new packaging. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of this. Uh, I actually like the older packaging that they had. It was much easier to open and it was just a lot more simple. This um, packaging is kind of excessive for me. They have this um, excess plastic that, that they put that has the title and name of the case. They do include the signature, you know, screen shields. They have that squeegee. They have the microfiber cloth. Kind of what you expect uh, as of late, you know, all the time from Sweet Cheesy. These are the associated um, connections that they have and manual. They do have the dock connectors, which is really nice. Um, if you have the universal dock, it was great um, to use. These are the, uh, this is the stand that you can use for the uh, iPhone 4 when the reptile case is on. These are the kind of earphone or headphone jack plugs, and this is the uh, bottom portion 30 pin connector that you can use. I don't use these very often because most of the time I end up losing them. It's great that they incorporate too, but I don't really use them that often. Dock connectors are fantastic. I love using these things. Um, it's great that they provide them for the universal uh, dock adapter so that you can put cases. Most of the time, most manufacturers don't let you, uh, don't provide you with these, and what ends up happening is you can only charge your phone by plugging in the cord without using your dock anymore. Really pointless. I wish more manufacturers would actually do that. But let's get to the case. I've um, been using this for a few days. It's actually a pretty great case. Um, with a few things I'd like to mention. So first off, this is the texture of the back. This is the reptile. So it's got a, it's kind of a smooth surface with just a bunch of ridges everywhere. It's kind of reminds me of the pixel skin only with, if somebody took the pixel skin and took a bunch of um, like a knife or something and kind of roughed up the texture, that's what it feels like. Uh, it's good grip, good amount of grip. It does not do, it uh, does not catch lint or anything like that when I was removing it out of my pocket. No issues with that. Um, it's not slippery or anything like um, like that with regards to the case. I did have some issues where when I put the case together, so this is a, uh, I can just take it apart real quick and show you. This comes off in uh, two components. It's not a slider type case. It is a case in which you put the front piece on first and then you'd use the bottom um, to kind of slide it into place. So this is, you just kind of snap it off, right? So that's the front of the case. This is kind of um, it's a plastic, uh, not textured at all. It's not a matte finish. It's a smooth finish. Doesn't scratch really uh, at all. So it works great there. The phone is into this kind of plasticky uh, underside. It does not have a felt back a little disappointed in that. I usually like the felt back just to prevent any time of scratches or issues with the back. But if you'll notice, I was a little disappointed in this case was the fact that this, if you can hear that, this is very malleable, right? Flexible. And when mine came, when I first opened it up and I put, I slid the phone into the, um, slid the phone into the bottom piece before I put this cap right on, these edges would ripple, right? And it was a little hard for me to put this front piece on unless I was kind of pressing this down while putting this on. A little disappointed in that. I wish it was a little bit more rigid um, so that it would, you know, slide right into the phone and then I wouldn't have to, you know, deal with that type of issue. The other fact is because this is malleable and flexible, right? And you can kind of, it kind of compresses like when you use it. Um, when you put this front piece on, you don't get any creaking, so you do not get any creaking, but you get this, um, it's almost like a sticking sound where this edge is not meeting this inner sheet. So when you're holding it, sometimes it's like a, the sound is pretty much like a sticking feeling, right? It's not a creaking, but it makes me feel like the phone wasn't ideally made to fit properly together, which disappointed, especially in something that um, you know, you paid $30 for, or approximately $30, and, 
was was expecting more, right? I was expecting a little bit more. But the cool part is when you do put the case on, um, it's great in the fact that, as always, when you put the case on, it's easy, easy. Uh, it does fit screen shields because it's a front case that puts like two pieces like this instead of a slider type. You can align your screen shield on it or you can put the screen shield on if it's larger than this ridge or this bevel that's around the phone and put this on without having to kind of rub against the thing. It just goes right on top and you should have no issues with um, a screen shield that's thin enough but that's a little bit too big, right? Did not have any camera flash issues. There was no manufacturing leftover plastic or flash as some of you, the viewers out there, have tried to um, um, or have gotten confused with. There's camera flash issues and flash due to leftover plastic from the manufacturing process. Um, this is the buttons that they have on the side. It has a nice feel to them when you depress them. This is the uh, vibrate switch, fully accessible. Headphone jack is great. Um, standby key is nice. Um, nice resistance to it. It's fantastic and completely open bottom 30 pin connector for all that the uh, issues that you have with the phone with plugging it into a proprietary connection. It does have a lay on the table design. As you can see, there's a little bit of a lip, so you can lay the phone on. Pretty good job protection, I gotta say. The, uh, because of that compressed plastic that's not really that rigid, it does provide pretty good protection for the phone. So, all in all, it's a great case. It's definitely night and day when you're comparing this case with like their uh, last manufacturing, manufactured product uh, that we're, I reviewed, which was a Switch Easy Nude. Really disappointed in the nude. This reptile has definitely brought me back into Switch Easy's um, uh, favor, right? Except for those minor gripes that I have. Uh, but other than that, I'll put the link to Switch Easy's site on the bottom, and you guys can check them out. Um, other than that, you know, please again subscribe, comment, and rate thumbs up because it really does help me out, guys. And I'll talk to you guys real soon with another product review. Peace.